Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So, time to hopefully take out the red dragon. Oh gosh dang it. Don't want an encounter really, but whatever. Attack. Oh yeah, right. That was silly because uh, my characters are set up on different controller slots now than they were before. Just chainsaw them. I just have to make it through. I don't need to make it through in a very good piece, I guess, but... And Celeste just hit something. Hopefully finish it off. It's a back attack, too. Just wonderful. At least that meant science attack did something. Okay, back into the menu. Gotta make sure I'm in tip-top shape before this fight. Otherwise this could be bad. The good news is Celeste gains a level from that battle. Skills, Celeste, Magic, Cure. Okay, so have I made it down to the Red Dragon's Lair area yet? There he is, alright. Nice. Okay, so this is either Celeste or Sabin. Got it figured out. Wait, uh... Oh yeah, right, I was already on Blitz. But I actually do want to be on Magic. Because I want to slow him with uh, Sabin first off. And judging by the sounds of things, he actually preserved Celeste, which is hilarious, because that's what I was going to do. Slow. Guess she gets an extra turn out of the deal. Oh yeah, right, he was already on tools as well. Unfortunately, he polarityed her right away. Oh well, he can send her back and forth for all he wants. Uh, Golem. So hopefully that connects, but I can, can't be sure at all, so I've got to take another turn. That is Fireball or the other... Oh shoot, I just realized that... Uh, that's going to make things awkward. So this is Savin still. Your goal right now is to pummel. Golem should hopefully keep me a little bit safer. There, I wanted him on Seizure. And now, next turn, Edgar will use Bio Blaster. So Bio Blaster's at the top left. Alright, so still on that, I want to slow you again now. But I have to scroll back down because I messed it up. Slow him. Okay. Yeah, making sure he's on slow is really important. That was a waste of his turn anyway. Is Celeste still alive, I wonder? Yes, she is. Otherwise that would have reflected. Alright, now hopefully I'm close to set up so that I can start trying to keep myself from actually dying. Just another attack from Celeste. Dispel is worthless. I actually like the fact that I'm hitting him with ice attacks because his counters are actually less dangerous this way right now. Polarity is not so nice, but hey, if she's in the back at least she does get the back road bonus, so whatever. Alright, I'm gonna have uh, Edgar wait for the moment. Oh, good thing I had him wait. Oops, wrong menu. Uh... I think it's about time to get some healing off with you, don't you think? And Edgar, do your thing. Slush can do her thing too. Massive damage. Well, not so massive in the back row, but whatever. Hopefully she gets into the front row eventually. That 4,000 damage plus an additional 1,400 sometimes just kicks butt. Alright, I'll throw in another golem. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just have him defend now. 
defend, please. I think I'm probably okay. Probably being the offer. Oh, shoot. Well, Seven didn't die, so definitely Mantra to keep whoever got hit by that alive. Thank goodness to that Fire Spear. <laughs> it makes the strategy work a lot better. Stat stick or a uh, knight's cape or a red cap, all of them would be really hard to put on, but sacrificing the Omega weapon isn't. Eh, I don't like that, but I'll have to do it. Uh, so, what am I doing with you? You can sit there and defend. I don't need you to do anything right now. Oh, I hope we got that defend off, because Savin's dead now. Edgar, come back up so that I can debilitate. De defibrillate Savin, please. Well, Edgar's definitely alive, but there we go. Two down to the defibrillator, defibrillate Savin. Where's Celeste? Did she die too somehow? Okay, he moved his uh, poison status. You do that. I'm gonna defibrillate Celeste because I haven't heard her in a while. I'm not sure how she died, but... Oh, maybe Seizure. <laughs> I never did bother to remove that face palm. Just do your thing with the mantra. Edgar should be fairly good right now, I think. Uh oh, I think I should have waited till after the defibrillator to do that. I don't think Celeste reaps the. Oh, crud. Well, uh, she's. Wait. Dang it, stop wasting time. Dang it! Oh gosh, what condition am I in? Bioblaster will be useful for sure. This is Sabin. I want him to mantra. Hopefully, things go to plan. Don't counter with Fire Claw, please. Oh yeah, right, I didn't Berserk her before, that's why she was on attack. I was wondering about that, because uh, the Dragon actually Berserked her this time, so... Um, so this is Sabin. I'm not feeling comfortable right now, so I'm going to Mantra again. And he just removed that, so let's Bioblaster him. Oh, dang it. I messed up the Blitz input somehow. Oh, I think I did my check to see if it was... to make sure it was Sabin, and that messed me up. Can't guarantee this will go through, but it's probably the best move no matter what. Nice, he reflected that onto himself. The only downside is that sometimes he throws a fire claw at someone. Uh, I don't think there's anything for you to do right now, Edgar, so sit tight and defend. Nice to have as many people defending as possible when possible. Celeste is still going strong, and after that mantra, she's going stronger. Dispel did nothing. Let's just wait it out with Sab and see what he does. I don't think I can defend in time, so uh, I probably could have defended in time after all. That was a counter. Well, whoever needs that needs that, so... Hopefully Celeste was at full, so even if she got hit by that, she's still okay. I'm gonna skip back to Savin's turn, cause they're gonna- oh crap. Two down to the defibrillator, and defibrillate Savin. Either Edgar's really low, or Celeste just got healed of her damage. Alright, that was a waste of his turn. He kinda wasted his opportunity there. 
Mantra because Edgar might still have some damage on him. I don't even know which Rose Less is in now. Bio Blaster to replace that, particularly because Edgar is at probably decent now after that Mantra. That did nothing and it was his actual turn, I think. Alright, does anyone have damage? I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it can be best just to defend with Sabon so that he can survive S-Cross. I hate it how it wipes him in one hit. Okay, uh, defending was probably not the best choice. But, you know, details. Alright, uh... I'm gonna save Edgar's turn because I'm not sure what his, where his turn is. And Edgar's probably not gonna die because of that. Edgar's not as in danger as Savin in terms of having to defend all the time. You gonna do anything, Dragon? Oh yeah, I forgot he has a raise. He never used it at all in my last run. Well, that was worthless, so let's just defend. So this is a one-woman army over there, so I don't even need the other two to attack and provoke those dangerous fire claw counters. I don't even care about his quote-unquote dangerous counters, but Fire Claw is uh, not so good. Alright, Bio Blaster him to reverse that. The thing about Bio Blaster is that it doesn't, because he can get countered with Fire Claw, it doesn't save me damage all the time. But, I mean, it's a turn he'd take anyway. Okay, uh, might as well have him take his turn now, essentially, waste a turn later with Fireball and take poison damage in the meantime, why not, right? Oh, that's not so great. Uh... Dried Meat, Phoenix Down, Revivify. Revivify Celeste. Okay, to remove that awful seizure status. She's at full HP right now. Uh... Edgar, I guess, has taken some damage. Celeste with uh, dual-wielding Ice Brand and Wing Edge can do hilarious amounts of damage in one go, but it's totally not worth it. Holy cow, again. It's probably his other fire move. Whatever, Seven's mantraing anyway. Uh, dried Meat, Phoenix Down, Vivify. Because I don't know which one implied Seizure and which one didn't. Depending on how much uh, Celeste has been in the front row, he could have taken a lot of damage or not so much damage. Well, that was a waste of his turn, so let's have Savin defend. Keep murdering him, Celeste. That Berserk status plows straight through him. Celeste can break the damage cap with, uh... This is Sega, right? I think I checked, I knew something was weird. Oh yeah, right, he's in his item menu. Knew something weird was weird, because I was pretty sure he was still on Bio Blaster already. Uh, I had you defend last turn, I think. Nobody's taking damage, so I don't think I'll Mantra? Could be wrong about that, but... Just set up with Edgar's turn. I'll have him defend if he does nothing. Waste of a time! Alright, so just keep going for it, Celeste. Like I said, I have absolutely no clue which row Celeste is in at any point in time. That hurt. Or rather, it could have hurt. Front row Celeste can take a lot of damage from attacks. Everything else is pretty safe, actually. I just had you defend, right? Oh, well, there's a fireball slash firestorm on my side. Dried meat, Phoenix down, Revivify. Well, she just healed herself. That's the nice thing, if she attacks, she has a 1 out of 3 chance of healing herself. And nothing else does anything wrong, so... Alright, Edgar, get ready with your Bio Blaster, get ready to put him back on the poison status. 
Uh, this is Sabin. Did I have him defend already? I can't remember. Defend. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I'm being an idiot still. Good thing you can't switch equipment in this game. It's actually kinda handy right now. Hooray, he did nothing! This is Sabin, he's already defending, ready to survive that S-Cross if he uses it. And the other two are hopefully at full HP at this moment, so... I'll have Edgar's turn ready unless he does a nothing. Uh, he didn't do a nothing, but Edgar's not helping with that. Seven, I choose you! Well, if it was Slash, he's at full HP anyway, so I don't even care. And if it's Edgar, now he's at full HP. And if it was Sabin, well, I guess that didn't help. I'll have Sabin delay for the moment. Don't want to waste his turn. Okay, yeah, you can defend. I think. I think I wanted you to defend. Bio Blaster to reapply that poison. Celeste has had a lot of time to whittle away with him by this point, and she hasn't died or anything, so the pain train just kept coming, so hopefully he's close to dead now. Celeste sure isn't after that fire three. Thank goodness for the flame shield. I may only have one, but it's a lifesaver. Oh. Uh, Edgar, you're up. This is your job. I don't want to remove Seven from his defending if I can help it. Uh, dried meat, Phoenix Down, Revivify. Oh, I forgot to give Seven guy gear. I oh, he's dead. There we go. I just realized that I was supposed to give Seven guy gear in, play in case of cave in, but it's not like it was a huge deal. See, Red, Red Dragon with uh, three party members, not too bad, as, but since I brought my uber over-leveled team. Well, I guess I shouldn't say over-leveled, because this is before endgame levels, just really high levels. Uh, so, yeah, now I'm switching to the other team. Hello, save point. So that's the end of that guy. Time to just finish off the dungeon now, and then I'm home free. Alright, so let's continue. Normally I don't break it up into this many segments, but, uh, mi this many mini-segments, but the thing is here, this way I can do all my re-equipping off-screen, which I'm sure you don't really want to see, so... I'd say it's mostly just benefits overall. Zarina gown is important because that's a really good equip for Realm. <laughs> Definitely don't want to miss that one. Thankfully not important right now, at the moment, because, uh... The... I don't have Realm on my team, obviously, so... Alright, so let's see who comes up first. I set my controller slots to back how they were before. Oh, and I also equipped that Wing Edge, finally. For all the difference I probably didn't make there. Wow, she's going nuts now. I'm just gonna chainsaw whatever whatever's left. Probably could have even just uh, had seven use or bolt. That's just a physical attack. I'm not even gonna heal. I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Just want to make sure I'm out of the fight. Alright, so now I just go left and up for a while. I'm getting very close to the end of the road for this team. This team has almost nothing left to do, and it's all on the other team's shoulders from here, so... Left. I mean, right. Uh... Chainsaw? This is a preemptive strike, I'm just gonna orb bold. Not dead yet, apparently.
starting to think it's an Aquila. This is gonna attack with Celeste. She's fine. This is seven. Let's just get ready with my stop spell. That's a shame, no throwing. Throwing that wing edge would be pretty nice. But I think it's pretty much down for the count now. Nobody died or anything, so... <laughs> Alright. Uh, skills, less magic cure. Get everyone healed up. Which could have required a lot. So hopefully I've made it to the top now. Dang it, I must have messed that up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, so that's the end of that segment. Just switch over to the team, take this off. This will allow me to just do my re-equipping off camera, save it, and then keep going. Well, I do believe it's time to go for the gold and hopefully finish this off. One, two, three, four, five. All the way to the left. No battles yet, apparently. Down the staircase. And now I go left and up forever. Thankfully this takes me all the way through the block maze, quote-unquote. Uh, so this is... Gao. Sensor. And Cyan. One, two. Hopefully Cyan mind blows as intended. Yep, there we go. Hopefully he hit a Mew if there's a Mew in the encounter. And of course if it's an Aquila it just got nerfed hardcore. <coughs> I haven't heard a lot of dangerous stuff on my side, so maybe one, two, three, four. And if I use Dragon that's probably not such an issue either. <laughs> Because it's probably even more powerful, even if it doesn't muddle. Uh... What was that? One, two, three. Three for three so far. I even went for a quadra slice too, so. I'm starting to think that I could have probably hit Dragon if I went for a stamina cyan. I know I'm not really using Vigor Cyan's Vigor right now at all, now that I think about it, except for Empower a little bit. One, two, three, four. But. It's just that Mind Blow is so effective in this cave. It practically. It essentially removes an enemy from the battle no matter what, and that's worth more than Dispatch, of course, and Quadra Slice might be okay in some situations. <coughs> Particularly against those Sea Flower guys, maybe I should have uh, been using Quadra Slice against them. Um. Oops. Dang it, where was my curse beforehand? It when this happens. Alright, I think I'm getting close. Yeah, whatever. I skipped it and messed it up even more. It's Phoenix down.
The worst part is that I probably barely need anything, but whatever. Skills, I am magic cure. Okay, definitely needed some. Start going left and up from here. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna be careful and slow because I don't want to mess this up at this point. I mean, it's not like it's far in the segment, but... If I go too quickly and get in a battle in the wrong space, I could uh, be wandering around for a while. See, I went left last, and now I'm going up. Oops. One, two. Well, you only hit one thing with Megavolt, although there may have only been one thing for all I know. This team's starting to get pretty tanky anyway, so really the only danger at this point is a thousand needles. Cool, he killed a revenant. Ugh, dang it. Whatever, I I know what encounter it is now. I don't know unfortunately which one of Cyan or Gao is dead, so I'm just gonna have him do that and listen out. Okay, it's Gao. One, two, three. Uh, that was too slow. I wasn't even sure whether I wanted Quadra Slice or uh, Empower there. Alright, let's get Gao back on his feet. Dried Meat, Phoenix down. At least I know there's only one Mew in the fight. Dang it. Watch, that was probably Setzer 2. If it was that, then this is not going well at all. Yep, Setzer's dead. Dried meat, Phoenix down. Five sets are please. <coughs> Mews are annoying because I think they can use a thousand needles every single turn, and Grin isn't any better. Well, that didn't do anything really, I don't think. Oops, he was already on item. And he was already on Phoenix down. Phoenix down, Gal, please. Is Setzer? Is he dead again? Cyan can't stall forever. Well, maybe he can stall until that thing dies. <coughs> Alright, this is Gao. I'm gonna have him rage at a Mantite to hopefully finish off whatever's left. Hopefully the Mew is dead. That's the best case scenario. Phoenix down Setzer again. Get him back on his feet. Thankfully there's only one enemy left, so hopefully it can't... I'm pretty sure it can't wipe me too much. Unfortunately, Mega Volt is kind of weak, but that's... Now it's definitely on seizure for sure. Alright, so this is Cyan. One, two, three. He's gonna need the MP. Although... And he might need the HP as well, but he's not gonna get it at this point. <coughs> So, save. Uh, Phoenix down. Yep, he died again, apparently. Oh no, wait, I can't revive him because of the relic ring. That's exactly what happened last time, except I didn't realize it happened last time. Phoenix down. Uh. It's a good thing that I thought Setzer might be revived the second time around, because that's what prompted me to use the Phoenix down on Gao instead, and otherwise that would have been a disaster. Holy cow, that was a lot of MP. Maybe I'll want to encounter her right away, empower her right away next time. Up. Alright, now I should hopefully make it up here. <coughs> I'm not 100% sure where I am right now, so I'm just gonna go down left a couple times. And now I'll run down. I should be in the lava room now, so if I get encounters I need to not change my strategy because it's no different. whoop de doo that's impressive, right? Up, left, down, left, down. So hopefully I'm not just barking up the wrong tree here. 
I'll know when I get to that Genji armor down there. Right and down now. <laughs> Haven't heard a battle in a while. There it is. Alright. So. Item, skills, equip. Actually, I want to go back up to item. I don't know where my cursor is right now. I want to throw that on Cyan right now. It's not going to make an enormous difference, but whatever. Skills, equip. Equip, Cyan, equip. That should be it. If not, it probably won't sink me anyway, but whatever. Down. Oh, whoops, I was supposed to go down and left there. Uh, back up. Just gonna do a 180, <laughs> reverse my steps, and then do what I was supposed to do the first time. Even though I probably would have been fine, but who knows. So this should put me back where I was before. Now I start going up and left. And I get stuck in the same place I was the first time again. So I can just back out of it, and now I can actually make some progress. Let's be careful, though. Don't want to mess this up. I went left last, so... Should be good from here on out. Probably won't get another battle before I hit something. Up is next. One, two, three. So yeah, let's get Cyan some of that magic back. What was that? Oh wait. Did I just tell someone to use the Phoenix down? Whoops. Yeah, Cesar was locked onto Phoenix down before. So yeah, when Cesar's turn comes back up. One, two. Actually, you might have almost wanted to do an empower there after the wave cannon, but... Whatever, you have to take it. Oh wow, I just had Cesar kill himself too. No, that can't happen. Hmm. Wait. I'm confused now. Am I able to kill Setzer with a Phoenix down even if uh one, two, three, four. Even if I normally wouldn't be able to kill bosses with it, I can't remember if that's the case. I haven't exactly been experimenting with Phoenix Down and characters with Relic Rings before, so... Hopefully Cyan can put some confusion, and uh, also I guess there's a Ouija in the Battle of Storm just got used. Better make sure to take care of that guy. Or not. Well, I hope I didn't just die. Well, I didn't just die. That's good. <laughs> Skills, item, save. Item. Nice. Good work, Gao, tanking that quake. <coughs> um. Well, he can't have anything else on, considering he was just dead. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. Up, left. Continuing up and left now. Hopefully I make it to where I want to go. If I do, I'm pretty, much cl I'm pretty close to getting out of this area. Although... The other area is probably the more dangerous one to this team, so that's not super amazing, but... I'm surprised they managed to get so close to killing me, though, although I suppose half of that was me getting close to killing myself. All things considered. Right? All the way up. Now, this part lines itself up pretty nicely. Just need to go around in an end shape, and... Then I'm almost to the point where I can jump over the things down. Okay. 
It's not too horrible a place for battle. I want to try to avoid getting into a battle with the other team right now. Yikes! Uh. So this is Gao. You probably want to be doing that. Uh, this is Setzer. Yep, I'm on his slots now. I think this is an Aquila, so I definitely want a Mind Blow. Um... One, two. Hopefully that should be enough to pretty much end this fight. Good work, Cyan. And he's got the Life Bell, so the seizure from Gigavolt isn't going to do anything. And I'm pretty sure he's the only person on the left, isn't... No. Shouldn't be on the left. Uh, I guess it's a back attack then. Whatever. Set to do your slots. Megavolt, even Megavolt is actually able to do some damage to this guy. But, he's almost dead anyway, so whatever. Uh, I think Siam might have just died. Whatever. He doesn't like a Grey Talon or whatever it is that the thing probably used. <coughs> Alright. Whoops. Item save. Item. Lots of Phoenix Downs this run. It's actually kind of lame of me, but whatever. Considering my characters are getting to be pretty tanky at this point. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. Oh, well, I'm definitely gonna need to use an Empowerer soon. He's almost out. Another encounter there? Didn't expect that. That kind of throws me off, actually. I didn't want the next encounter until I got past the uh, jumpy thing. Uh, Cyan. Someone got. That's uh, weird again. Stop being weird, game. I don't like it. Conform with society. One, two. <coughs> what was that? Oh, cyclonic. Durr. Well, it's already lost its MP, so... Although Cyan's probably getting pretty low himself. That'll help a little bit, though. Keep those people alive, Setzer. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Might as well muddle the thing, for what it's worth. If you hit him from the backside, he might even do some damage. 800 damage total from that, so it's not terrible, I guess. But in the back row, it's kind of nerfed. One, two, three, four. It's mainly just a muddle setter right now because I definitely don't want Cyan in the front when he's already the least tanky member of the group without that shield. Save, item, phoenix down, no one. Pretty sure there aren't even in any statuses that thing can inflict, but whatever. Now for the actual bit that might be important. Skills, cyan, magic, cure. Still not out of MP, which means he's probably going to be okay. Probably two more battles, maybe three before I escape, so... All the way down. But I'm still gonna want to give him something back before I enter the lava room for the last time. Right? Because then Weejillas come along and they're harder to predict. Because I can't empower them. Alright. I tried to... <coughs> <coughs> when I jumped across the gap, I tried to open the menu and didn't work, so... Alright, I'm gonna swap Esper. I'm hoping that uh, I won't get an encounter with the other team right now. Skills. Down to Gao. What? 
Yes. Oh wait, was he already on Esper's? This is starting to sound correct, but just want to make absolute sure. All right, good. Guy was de-equipped for the two steps that the other team's going to be walking, and hopefully won't even get a battle during. But whatever. Want to be absolutely careful because Sabin's right next to gaining a level. Skills. Sabin. Yeah, he was on Esper's two already. Alright, just have this team walk down to the switch, gotta listen carefully. Not for that. There we go. That went smoothly. Skills, Sabin, Esper. Switch teams. Reset my cursor to the top. Skills, Gao, Esper. There we go. <coughs> and now I'm home free. I just have to navigate out of here. No more switching between parties at this point. Left. There we go. Now all the way down. And I can go right and down, and that'll take me most of the way to getting out. I'm probably safe either direction here. Uh... It's one of you guys, apparently. Go yeah, we'll do your thing. Uh, sets are also do your thing. I've been fighting a lot of Aquilas lately, just pointing that out there. Oops. It's not your thing. It's because the other team didn't fight a battle, that's why. One, two, three. He needs some MP back for sure. I'm gonna risk the dangerous magic spells this thing has right now. It's too bad this isn't one of the enemies in here with 100 MP, or he might actually get close to finishing its MP off. Yikes, so much Cyclonic is actually kind of dangerous. One, two. Well, that'll help. And if I nerf it completely by hitting it with Mind Blow... There we go. This thing's kind of helpless once it's been nerfed with Mind Blow. And everyone's still going strong, so... One, two, three, four. That thing's got to be dead soon. <laughs> oh, random miss out of nowhere. You kill him with that solitaire, Setzer. Hooray for winning rolls! Alright. Oops. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. Okay, apparently I'm not doing what I think I'm doing. Save. Item. Phoenix down. I mean, dried meat, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not using it either way. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. There we go, now continue walking. Oh, another battle. Is it another one of these guys? Seriously? Leave me alone, dang it. I mean, it's not like they're the hardest encounter. One, two. But not for this team, anyway. In fact, they're probably the easiest encounter. What, why am I complaining? All the other ones have Muse in it, and those guys are dangerous. I prefer the Aquila that I can just drain the MP of. And it's kind of worthless at that point.
One, two, three, four, five. Gonna tr do the dragon, I guess. Well, that's not the dragon. That's the useless. Oh, it's dead. Really? Oh, I, maybe I hit it with Cyclonic or something and then I wasn't paying attention. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. They can't even hit me with Saz effects, so yeah, I'm not even sure why I was complaining. Just complaining for the sake of complaining, I guess. But either way, I won't be facing any more of those guys if I make it to the lava room. Alright, I'm gonna start left and downing right now. This is pretty much the last movement I need to make. I don't remember if I have to take a step back or not before uh, walking upwards. Alright, I'm going down next, I think, not that it really matters. Okay, this is Setzer. One, two, three. You just hit those guys with your thing and... Alright, I'll hold the button down in hopes for an H-bomb. <coughs> <laughs> oh no, is this a pincer attack? I'm hearing the enemy attacks in the center of the screen. If so, this could actually be legitimately dangerous. Though that might help. Whoops, that was a dispatch. That's useless. Good, so to keep those people alive. I need those people, they're kind of important. Holy cow, lots of enemy attacks. Sounds like Cyan might even be dead at this point. Nope, just a lot of enemy attacks, I guess. That guy's sure dead, though. And whatever, that thing now has a seizure, so it's probably dead soon, too. Uh, one, two. Zayn so can't take much of this, so I think he's probably gonna die at some point. Unless the Setzer does a good job of keeping him alive. I guess he doesn't take that much damage from lightning, it's the fire attacks that he's woefully unprepared for compared to everybody else on my team. Another enemy just died out of the blue. More wave cannon, but I don't think they've got me at this point. Gao... If nothing else, Gao's gonna live. Goodbye, lots of stuff. Is that it? Yes, I do believe that's it. Cyan did die after all. Too much wave cannon megavolt for him to handle. But it doesn't matter, because the other two can handle the Wave Cannon Megavolt. Skills, Cyan, Magic, Cure. That was probably mostly just Cyan healing himself, <laughs> but whatever. Cyan, you selfish jerk. You never think of anyone but yourself. Not even sure why I let you on the team. There we go. Phew. I have my lock back, and good timing, because he needs to replace all these characters who are getting to be way high leveled. <laughs> Gao and Cyan are still the lowest leveled characters, I'm pretty sure, unless I got significantly more encounters there than last time. Locke is definitely the lowest leveled at only 20. Before he was kind of like... The char that character who has just gigantic amounts of HP and levels and is ridiculously powerful because he was there through the entire world of balance. And then... Yeah, now he's not. He's... On HP, he's par for the course, I'd say, to be honest, still. But as far as level goes, he's four levels lower than the next lowest people, so...
I wonder if I'll get a choice to bring Setzer into the next place or not. I'm not 100% sure if I will or not. Both Edgar and Setzer are pretty nice choices. I mean, everyone's a pretty nice choice in this game, but... <coughs> now for another cutscene that has no emotional impact because I can't see. Whoop de freaking do. I mean, I do get the music and stuff, but whatever. But hey, here comes the Phoenix match site. I'm actually going to be building Locke as Phoenix this time around. I mean, I know it's a good build, but usually it's Prime has passed by the time I get Locke, but for once, that might not actually be the case thanks to people voting for the Phoenix Cave early, and I've still got some of the dungeons with fireweak enemies left to do, and Locke's the lowest leveled by far, because everyone else just got a massive EXP infusion. So he'll be at my party for a while, probably, until I get enough other characters to kick him out. One thing's for sure, Celeste isn't coming with me for a while, <laughs> once I leave Koengen. Thankfully, Koengen's pretty easy to leave. They don't stick me in the middle of a town or anything, so... Don't have to worry about getting through the entire Phoenix Cave and then, whoops, you failed at getting out of Collingen. Sorry. Better luck next time. Hooray! Cheery music! We win the day! And we get a whole bunch of stuff that happens, I guess. I don't know what half of it is, but I know that there's a Flame Guard in that bunch and the Valiant Knife still, I think. So that stuff will be useful. Guess a better menu trick. I'm not sure when this cutscene ends, and I don't think there's any indication. That fling guard will be super nice for Narj. Having two ice guards after I bet them both into ice guards will make Narsh a cinch, really. I think probably because so many ice moves. It's like just like the Phoenix Cave, except with ice. And but this time around, I've got two shields that protect against it. Yeah! All the way down. One, two, three, all the way down. There we go, I'm back on the overworld. The end of the Phoenix Cave. Bowser's Mansion's probably still next, unless there's so many mess with the votes. A uh, big deal, but... See you next time.